good morning for this Thursday, April 3rd. April 3rd, we are looking at ECL. ECL, and if you recall this trade, we went long at 107.18. Beautiful trade setup here as market took out the high of March 28th, right? Right there. Beautiful back down into logical support. The 50 exponential moving average took out that high. Limited risk on that trade, okay? So 107.18, our first profit target, okay, was 108.71. 108.71, okay? And that was hit yesterday pretty much on the open. Opened up at 108.71, made a high of 109.23. So we took some profits at the 108.71 level, right? And then we brought up our stops, all right? We brought up our stop to, let's see, so by the... Profit target of 108.71 getting hit. We we lot we 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 made a dollar fifty three on that trade on a portion of the position, and then moved up the stop loss to 107.64 right to lock in 46 cents on this trade. Now today, we have made a new high. We've rallied all the way up to 109.81. Our next profit target is 111. 111 is what I'm looking for. Okay, but in the interim. I'm going to go ahead and move that stop up again, up to below yesterday's low, 20 cents below yesterday's low of 108.45 to 108.25, okay? So our trailing stop is 108.25, locking in $1.07, regardless of what this stock does, okay? But we are looking for that 111 to get hit as well. So as the market continues to move up we're looking for that second target of 111 all the while moving that stop loss right the sell stop up acts as a trailing stop to automatically lock in a dollar seven so regardless of what this stock does you know we made money on that first target of a dollar 53 we're locking in a dollar seven now so if the market drops we lock in another dollar seven if it continues to rally we take it up to 111 okay so that's what we're doing here on ECL Take a look at Q, 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 right? The market's been, was consolidating, finally broke up. If you recall, we went long at $50.58. Uh, $50 um, we are going to bring that up now, okay? Our initial catastrophic stop was at $49.61. Only risking $0.97 cents on this trade, $0.97 cents to make. Uh, the first profit target is 51.98, 51.98. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move that stop up to below today's intraday low so far. Okay, today's intraday low is fifty dollars and eighty six cents. I'm going to go to fifty dollars and seventy six cents. So regardless of what this stock does, we're going to lock in about twenty cents only. Okay. So if it drops back, we're taken out. We still we pretty much scratch the trade, make a little bit of money, but we're we're still looking for that fifty one dollars and ninety eight cents to take off a portion of the position. So that means, you know, if the market's able to take out yesterday's high of fifty one dollars and fifty cents, I think we got a chance to run up to fifty one uh, ninety eight. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. We'll see if that happens, and then UA UA Under Armour did exactly what I said it would do yesterday. Thought it would break up. Uh, the thing is it gapped. So we were looking to, uh, for the market to take out 116.22 to 116.44, opened up at 116.55, and then immediately pulled back within 15 minutes, hitting the 116.44, and then rallying and closing at 118.88. It's at 117.26 right now. So we, we did get a little break up through there, so we'll see if it continues to move. So that is what is going on. The E-mini S&Ps are in all-time high territory. Right, we took out those highs, right? We are making new records, right? Yesterday, right, the market closed at 1883, 1883, and the all time high up until that point was 1877 and three quarters. So, pretty interesting stuff. We are trading at 1884 right now. We've made a new high of 1887. So we've taken out yesterday's high by 75 cents. We'll see if we can continue this move to the upside. Again, take a look at this daily chart on the E-minis. We've had one, two, three, pretty much three exhaustion gaps. Look at it. Wasn't able to fill the gap of the prior day. Opened up higher, didn't fill the gap. Opened up higher on 31st, didn't fill the gap. 
opened up again on the uh, on 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 April first. Did not fill the gap. Gapped higher yet again yesterday. Fill the gap barely. So pretty interesting. Strong market. Let's see if it continues. Have a profitable day. I'll be back with you tomorrow.